Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing very, very well. I got married. <laughs> I got married this weekend, just gone. Hence why I didn't post anything last week. Um, God, it was just crazy. Last week was just, there was a lot going on. This vlog is basically gonna show you guys what I got up to last week. Um, I had quite a few events to go to. I was down in London. I had some events up uh, up in Leeds as well. Um, I was here, there and everywhere whilst also trying to get everything together for the wedding, whilst also being six months pregnant. It was a lot. <laughs> I'm tired, okay? I'm catching up on sleep. I've been waking up at like half four in the morning um, because I was so stressed, but we're here. I'll just touch on that very, very quickly. And then we can get and then we can crack on with the vlog. And um, I really wanted to film like a separate wedding prep video and a vlog, but it all just ended up merging together because there just wasn't enough content. And um, so I'll quickly talk about the wedding and everything that got together. So I've mentioned a few times here that we were having our legal wedding this year, and it happened on the first of July. 2024 and it was just beautiful it was great we had our closest friends and family literally 10 people there it was a very intimate celebration we wanted it to be that way because that's just feels the most special to us if it's that way and it was just amazing so we had the wedding and then we had like a little garden party and uh, had our friends and family over um to celebrate with them at home it was so good like it was i don't know what i expected it to be like but it was just amazing it was absolutely amazing and uh, we had the best day ever i just remember once everybody had left sitting down and being like oh that was so good <laughs> for like a weight had been lifted off of my shoulder so now yes i am married and i feel like now that the wedding has been done i can just focus on baby stuff and prepare myself and prepare our home um for this baby over the next few months but yeah that is that <laughs> let's roll into this vlog so it's a little bit here, there and everywhere and I've done quite a few and I've done a voiceover in some parts of the vlog and then I'm going to come back at the end and show you guys all of the bits which I got, the unboxings, all of that. So let's roll the vlog. It was years ago but how can I forget? So my week started off with a fragrance consultation at Penhaligons. If you follow my channel and you've watched my fragrance collection video, then you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Penhaligons. And I recently discovered that they actually have an outlet store um, at the York Design Outlet. So um, I'd highly recommend going into there if you are local. I'm sure they probably have other outlet stores throughout the UK, but York is my closest. So yeah, I tried quite a few of their scents whilst in store. I picked up one of the Scent. I'll show you what I got at the end. If you only close, I won't let go again. We have Hi everybody, it's the following day. I haven't caught up with you to show you all what perfume I got from Penhaligon. I actually have an event this morning, so it's half six in the morning. I've already been up for like two hours. I woke up at half four and I couldn't get back to sleep. Yeah, so it's half six right now. I am off to get my train to London so I need to be there for nine o'clock my event starts at 10 um so yeah I'm off to get my train this is what I'm wearing you won't really see what I'm wearing properly but it's like a um snake print one shoulder dress I'm wearing a blazer on top because I don't know what the weather's going to be like I had to rush this morning because I was running late every time I think I've got loads of time I take ages and then I all of a sudden I have two minutes and I need to be at the train station time to go this wasn't a mistake and we can't go old if you love me again my friend this time is different so please do not let me go please do not let me go 
so after my event i popped into whistles because i had to buy my wedding dress i'd left it very very last minute three days before my wedding and there was a reason behind that i wasn't going to buy my wedding dress weeks and weeks in advance because i wanted to buy something on the high street that didn't need any alterations because it was for our legal wedding and not our main wedding i wanted to keep it very low-key so i wanted to get something on the high street but at this point i had tried on 10 different dresses and none of them looked good with my bump another reason why i didn't want to buy anything too early is because every week i am growing so something that could fit me two weeks ago probably won't fit me two weeks later and this is the first one here it's really elegant really simple that is my vibe i don't like dresses with too much i love that the more plain a dress the more i love it personally i love this dress like the back detail um but just th the shoulders because i couldn't get them altered just didn't fit quite right and then i tried this off the shoulder dress and if you follow me on instagram then you'll know that this is the dress which i went for i don't normally like love off the shoulder dresses but it fits so well well it fit way better than the one before and it had like a bow detail which you can tie at the back so it's a little bit more adjustable i could tighten it to make it look to make it a little bit more snug and then funnily enough i completely forgot baby brain and um, i actually had a whistles event the following day so i was very kindly invited into my local whistles in leeds and um, they had just opened a new store so they invited me down to have a look so yeah i had a look around the shops and they had loads of colorful gorgeous bits um, I really love whistles. I tend to like whistles more in autumn, winter, um, but their summer collection is really beautiful. They have so many beautiful linen pieces, which are really good quality. So if you like, if you are happy to spend a little bit of money on high quality linen, I highly recommend checking out whistles. So yeah, I tried on a few bits. Um, first one being this beautiful orange dress now on camera it looks like a bright orange in real life it's a little bit more of a ready orange color um it was just it's just the kind of things that you want to wear in summer and it's definitely the kind of things that i want to wear now um that i'm pregnant we were 16 up all night love and heartbreak was our life we got drunk and smoked your death and then i tried this linen jumpsuit um, I love the colour, I thought the colour was beautiful because obviously it's a bright colour, it showed my bump quite a bit I don't know how I feel about that and then I also tried it in black I was really stuck between the black and the green I try not to buy too much black in summer just because because summer is my time to thrive in colour um, and naturally I would have just gone for the black because to be honest wearing the black you can't even tell that I'm pregnant um, however post pregnancy I can't just be buying clothes um, for the body and shape that I have right now once I have this baby I still want my clothes to fit so I'll show you which colour I went for at the end this time is different so please do not let me go Also tried this game dress it was really pretty but it just wasn't giving me it wasn't really giving um but yeah i still tried it on it has pockets freckles on your cheeks how you talked in your sleep we had plans and it was your biggest dream yeah then i didn't call for weeks thought the love wasn't for me no still think of you and then i tried this linen dress here which i think would 100 percent look better without a bump finally i tried on this one shoulder dress which is just beautiful um the quality of it was amazing i tried on a medium but i actually ended up getting a small because i felt like the medium had quite a bit of material which is fine for now but post pregnancy again there would just be too much material going on um i do find that with whistles their sizing is quite generous so the following day i went to go get my wedding nails done please do not let me go home 
home and I am just cracking on with making all of the floral arrangements. Um, my local Tesco didn't have all of the flowers which I wanted so I'm a little bit disappointed and I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I'm not sure whether to like travel to a different supermarket. So these are all the flowers, um, so these are all the flowers that I've made which are just going to be dotted around kitchen and uh, garden. Um, so yeah I've been making them, it took me about an hour, an hour and a half to make them so it wasn't actually too long. Um, I'm off to get more flowers because this one needs a lot more flowers in there. So the first event which I went to was the Pen Halligans event. I love Pen Halligan perfumes. I have two in my collection. I have Impressa, which is the first one that I fell in love with. And then I also have Luna, which I feel like I I think I like Luna more than Impressa. It's fruitier, lighter, it's just a really pretty scent. This time round, how cute is this little box? Ah, oh okay, so you're supposed to hold it like that. <laughs> so the scent which I went for was Lily of the Valley. So I'd never smelled this one before. Like, yeah, I'd never, I'd never come across it. Although I definitely think I've. Anyway, I personally love really fresh scents all year round. I'm not really that into like deep oud scents. I like oud if they have a rose undertone because it still keeps it kind of light for me. So I tried quite a few of their different perfumes and I walked. I left the store, walked around for a little bit and came back and this was the one that's not the best on me so let me just spray a little bit more. Oh, if you like really fresh floral scents then you're going to love this. According to the Penn Halligans website it has head notes of bergamot um, which gives it that really like fresh, a bit of a citrusy scent. Um, heart notes of Lily of the Valley and then base notes of Sandalwood. And then I went to the Warehouse event and we've got a little goodie bag. I'll quickly, very quickly show you guys what I got there. So we were celebrating the launch of the Tatiana Alida collection. She's an artist and she just and she's an artist and she did a summer collection with Warehouse. Um, so that's what the event was about. So I think these are some of her these are some of her artwork, I'll show you that there, Tatiana Elida, there we go, more of her artwork. And then in the goodie bag we also got this Nooks, Nooks, I think it's a body oil, a multi-purpose dry oil for face, body and hair. There we go, that's what we've got in there. Finally, I'll show you guys the items which I picked up at Whistles. So, as you know by now, I ended up picking up my dress. I ended up picking up my wedding dress from Whistles. And, um, oh gosh, it was a right... It was stressful, but not a bad stressful. Um, it takes a lot for me to... I, I can hold a lot of stress in and then, like, combust. Um, but I had been ordering wedding dresses, like, two a week, two weeks in advance from our wedding day. And the reason why I left it so last minute is because I knew firstly I wasn't gonna buy like um I wasn't going to like a I wasn't going to go into like a bridal shop and do that whole thing because I was gonna I, I'd already done that for our main wedding. So that was 
think that I wasn't going to do that. Um, so I wanted to buy my wedding dress on the high street because I know the high street has so many good options. I underestimated how hard it was going to be um, because of the bump. Honestly, like everything looked awful. <laughs> I would insert pictures, but God, I, you guys would be dying because the dresses look so bad. Whistles is always a good shout. Their bridal collection is always beautiful. So as I was in London, um, for the warehouse event, I thought I'd pop into one of their stores to try on their wedding dresses and it was a success. It was a success. I ended up going for the off the shoulder dress just because you could tie it at the back. Um, I wasn't going to tie it into a bow because I'm not a bow kind of girl. Um, but I just like to, I just like the fact that you can tie the back of it and like cinch it in a little bit more. Um, just because I don't have like the biggest bust. Um, whereas the other dress, which is a dress which I actually initially went in for. Wasn't too sure about the low back. Um, I felt like there's a lot of material. Um, sizing is also really weird for me right now because I'm naturally smaller on top and it's just things that work out when, <laughs> unless you have like a straight up and down figure, then things always need to be nipped and tucked. And also add on the fact that I'm pregnant, it just like, I felt like the shoulders just weren't sitting right and I just didn't want to do the whole tailoring thing because it takes time, it costs money and I wanted it to just be like, a, I just wanted to find an easy dress which I just put on and I was good to go. The off the shoulder dress was a put on and good to go kind of dress. I'd asked a few people as well what they thought between the two dresses and everybody said the off the, and everybody said the off the shoulder dress and so I was like, yeah, I'm going for that. Um, I'm actually, I've actually washed the dress and I'm going to sell it on Vinted at some point. Um, so that was that. And then I actually had a Whistles event. So I'll show you the bits which I picked up. I tried on so many beautiful things. Uh, they had so many things, but I picked up four things. Out of the two jumpsuits, can you guess which one I went for? The green one. <laughs> and I feel like it actually comes across quite true to colour on this camera. Um, because on the other camera is looking a little bit washed out and um, yes it's a really beautiful vivid green colour. I picked it up in my usual size 12 and um, I feel like whistle sizing is quite generous so um, but regardless I do tend to be a size 12 in jumpsuits um, because it just fits me all over. I nearly went for black. Um, I'm not going to insert any trying clips because you would have seen it already um, but I nearly went for black but like everybody in the shop like was like no just go for the green i thought the green was way more vibrant it's just such a beautiful shade of green like the black was nice but it was like a comfort thing um and the green like stood out it felt more special so anyway fully linen the linen quality is really good it fits me now i don't know how much longer it's going to fit me for hopefully till the end of summer um because it does have an elasticated band um, but it will definitely fit me post-pregnancy. Um, the thing is, I'm just, I don't want to be buying loads of maternity, I mean, I've only bought one maternity thing, because I just don't want to be buying loads of maternity things. I just, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have all these things which I'm only going to wear a few times in my life. And then I actually picked up another jumpsuit, so it's just this one here, with a bow on it. I really wasn't sure about this, so I really wasn't sure about this jumpsuit, so I will insert a try on for this because I didn't show a try on before. I think it looks really good straight on, but from the side, obviously it looks a bit funny with the bump. Um, but I love the way that it looked. I love the kind of like thin stripe pattern. It kind of reminds me of like school uniform. Um, we didn't, I think I wore blue at my school uniform, but I, like the school, another school near me, wore red and it kind of reminds me of like school uniform it's like a like a i don't know if it's cordery 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 oh, that's a really hard word to say but yeah i picked up this jumpsuit and i just really like the way that it looked i thought it was just really i thought it was really easy going i can see myself again something that i can see myself wearing now and post-pregnancy i love jumpsuits and actually I haven't felt that confident wearing them just because I don't like the way that jumpsuits and trousers always look with a bump. I can, I, it can make me feel a little bit like Humpty Dumpty, um, if you know what I mean. <laughs> of course, I picked up the red maxi dress. This one is beautiful. I had loads of comments on Instagram when I shared this on there. It's just like a really, it's a lightweight, 
It's a lightweight cotton maxi dress. The minute the weather decides to behave itself, because we had really good weather like a couple of weeks ago, now it's just gone back to being cold and miserable. Thank God it's not raining today, but the weather's just been rubbish. But the minute the weather spruces back up, I will be wearing this dress. Again, it looks really orange on camera. Oh, this colour is lovely, isn't it? It's a really nice colour. Really works with me, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, it has pockets. Um, I do find that like higher end brands tend to add things like pockets. Like Abercrombie, one of my favourite um, fashion brands. They always have pockets in their dresses and you just don't understand how much that saves me from taking a handbag. The very final thing which I picked up is this cream dress here. So it's a cream knitted dress. I wasn't sure whether to go for this or not, but I thought it was just so lovely. I thought it was just lovely. It was like my favourite, it was one of my favourite things. I don't, again, I know I'm talking about a bump a lot, but when you're trying on clothes and you have something so big in the way, I can't help but talk about it. Um, my belly button, okay? And my belly button is out and it's thriving. It's It just loves being the main character. It always shows up in like all of my different outfits. I just learned to accept it for what it, like who, I just, I'm just accepting it. But I love this dress anyway. Really beautiful quality, like nice, nice quality. It's like, it, I love the design of it. It's like something that you find in Zara, but the quality of it is obviously like much, much, much better than Zara. I got this one in a size small. I will link all of the pieces which I talk about in the description box. Um, but yeah, love that dress, love the way that, love the way that it fits. Um, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed spending the week with me. Um, I wish I had vlogged way more, but as you can tell, it was a crazy week for me. It was back to back, loads of stuff to do, huge lists of stuff to do every single day, but we've made it. I'm now married. Also let me know what kind of content you guys would like me to do because now that I'm no longer planning a wedding, I, um, have time to hopefully post more content for you guys um at least one video a week if not two if i have the idea um if i have the idea if, if there's any like particular kind of fashion videos or baby content that you want to see like a video that i've kind of like the idea of doing is baby names which i like but I won't be using um, and I can do it for girl and boy because we don't know what we're having so just kind of fun videos like that I'm thinking about potentially potentially doing anyway I'm gonna leave it there uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will catch you all in my next one bye